watch as I create a 30 second nature observation for nature's wild things. See my workflow process in Final Cut Pro X for transforming raw video footage into something ready for publishing. These videos are used in the nature field guide, natureswildthings.com, your nature discovery website. Today's edit sessions features a zebra swallowtail butterfly. And this raw video is from a photo walk on April 4th, 2017. And it was in one of the parks located in Cabarrus County, North Carolina, and that is in the United States. All right, let's take a look at the video clips we have today and what we have to work with. We have uh, a few good shots of the butterfly working some flowers, but we have an awful lot of video of uh, trying to chase down this butterfly. These butterflies just do not stay in one place long. By the time you get your camera pointed to them and in focus, they're off to the next flower and uh, they're a hard one to track down so I believe some slow motion is in order for today but let's let's pull a video clip down to our timeline and let's uh, pick out the good parts here and one of the quick ways i've found that you can find uh, the good parts uh, out of a video and uh, you can see the good parts are up front here is to let's just uh, take and shorten right down to where we see um, where we would want to make a cut right about there and we see then that we can kind of pick out what we want out of that clip and in this clip that that was about the only thing that section right up front that we had to work with now in this clip there may be multiple sections of video that we have to work with we we were able to catch them a few times on the flower so in this one we may have to pull this down to the timeline several times and uh, let's take our possibilities here we got one right up front and uh, let's see what we've got to work with there there's the end of the shadow so we have one possibility here let's take and drag this down and uh, we know that uh, we can skip right over that first possibility because we have it already and we can look and see when we find the butterfly again so we're putting them in frame right about in there and let's take and see when he flies off right about so we've got video video good yep flies off right about there but then we land and reframe here so let's let's uh let's just do the fly off there and call that a shot and let's see if there's any others here let's quickly pull down to there we got we got him sitting up here but we really don't have him in frame and when we do get him in frame he's out of focus and off to the next flower in frame right about there and in focus and uh, that's that's a good shot of him right there I like that one and that's about it for our video so let's take a look at what we have to work with here right about there We'll uh, zoom it out to the whole timeline here and see what we have to work with. Looks like we're working with about uh, a little over 10 seconds of video here. 10.22. Let's uh, see what we've got to work with here. We've got... Okay. I think out of all the clips, I sort of like this one the best. It shows the underside, uh, shows the top side of the wings a little bit. I like that clip. Although this clip uh, shows off the undersides and the uh, top of the wing a little bit. You really see the blood red stripe running up through 
the middle of his wings there. Interesting. Well, there you can see it even better. We uh, have an out of focus spot right there. So we start in focus, it's out of focus, back to focus again. Let's see if we can grab and remove that out of focus spot. It gives us a little less video to work with. But uh, with this beautiful butterfly in this video, I think we can... Uh, there he's... This is probably a good introduction shot. It, it allows you to see the uh, butterfly, but not perfectly. It, it kind of draws you in and makes you want to see maybe even more. Have the uh, camera doing some adjusting with the light here and doing weird things. And I uh, don't know if I like that. Although. Let's do this slow motion fly off. I kind of, kind of really like that. Um, let's let's just grab here, get beyond the light messed up there, and look at what we've got. Now there's a video clip that we would really want in slow motion. Something, uh, uh, even maybe nine percent speed. Let's take that and uh, let's see how much video we actually have with 9%. We'll just stick in 9% there. And that makes it a, about a, a six second clip. Uh, so let's take and uh, look at what the six second version looks like on this. Yeah, I kind of like that, but uh, with us making the clip slower, we have uh, more uh, dead air, you might say. He flies off right about in there. So now the clip's only a little over five seconds. And we have this uh, clip here. Now the question will be, do we want to leave the shadow in as he flies off and I I think not we'll we'll clip it down to just where he's departing let's also stick about nine percent speed in there and uh, see what uh, what the clips look like back to back here Let's take and just uh, bring them back into our timeline a little bit with a shift Z on the keyboard. We see our butterfly. So, so far we're really looking at the raw footage and isolating out the, the really sharp, vivid parts. And uh, we're up to Oh, a little about halfway of our 30 second uh, video production here. And we have, uh, I believe the best is yet to come. I'm liking this shot. But uh, this shot, he's almost completely behind the plant and just moves out sort of a reveal there. I like that. And uh, let's just give this one. I'm just going to start out with about a 20 percenter there. Now that'll give us a little bit shorter clip. So, so far in the timeline here we're at 28 seconds. So we're going to have to do some finagling and readjusting of these. This clip too is also very, very nice at showing off uh, 
the butterfly. So let's let's also make that at uh, at twenty percent there, and just work from there. We'll see what we we have. So we'll get rid of our little dialog box, re-zoom in the dime line here, and we see that we're working with thirty-eight seconds. So let's. Uh, this is our introductory shot here. Uh, let's try something here. I'm going to go in and let's try to equalize them and see what happens. If we go to 20% that shortens it down quite a bit. If we go to 20% on this one, sometimes it's confusing when you put multiple clips together and they're all running at different speeds. It, it can be confusing to, uh, to watch them. And uh, what we have is almost 30 seconds here with uh, just running at 20% speed. Just have the beginning of that out of focus. Let's just trim that up to where it's in focus a little better. I know that takes away some time here too. And I think what I'm looking at is what what clips could work with maybe just a slight bit more time. I really like this clip down here. Let's just go to 21 here. Let's go to 21 on this one too. Why does it appear to be shortening the clips? We want to make them longer. Almost like I shortened it up. <laughs> okay. Well, that's right. I'm going the wrong way. I should be at 19. No wonder it's shortening it up. This confuses me sometimes. Let's pick this over again here. I was making the clips shorter. All right. Let's try to get this right now. Let's go to 19% speed to make it more slow motion to make it a little bit a bit longer and I didn't catch that right let's try this again 19 enter there we go now we're doing it uh, these are some of the things you have to practice learn and practice with Final Cut Pro <laughs> just the whole workflow is a is a constant learn something find tutorials online learn one little thing and one little thing and then practice it and that's the way I learn how to edit with Final Cut Pro and there's a lot of trial and error it's very time consuming sometimes and let's take this other one we tried to make a little slower and longer and we succeeded in just making it <laughs> shorter so let's also take this, go to 19%, hit enter, get rid of our dialog box, and uh, we're getting awful darn close. Let's see where we come out here with a 19% here too. Somebody good at math could, could uh, definitely get this a little closer sometimes. This is a good end clip here. Let's just bring her right to 30. There we go. Now, let's take a look at what we have to work with here. And I think we've got the audio turned on. I, I noticed that right away. And the audio is, with all this slow motion going on, is pretty uh, 
annoying and doesn't mean anything. It's just noise. So we're going to take and turn the audio off on these these clips. And I think we're getting closer to where we need to be with this this beautiful uh, zebra swallowtail. So let's uh, do first things first. Let's take that audio that's appearing on the bottom of each clip and we'll just uh, drive it down to zero. And now we won't have that audio on the clip. And most 30 second videos I produce, I don't have audio on them. With our urban environment and the fact that I, you know, the urban environment being noisy and the fact that I do a lot of slow motion in my videos, I oftentimes do not have audio. But if I have a good 100% speed clip and there's good audio there of birds or crickets in the background or whatever, I leave that in. But so often in this urban environment, we don't get good audio. So let's see here. We've got that beautiful butterfly flying around. One of the things we sort of have an option of doing here is the order of the clips. Do we, do we want to leave them in the order that they're in? We sort of... Um, it's almost like we we do a shot we get a little closer to that shot we fly off I'll have to think about that as we go on here and the these two clips also would uh, probably work with a little bit of uh, there seems to be a little bit of stabilization needed the, the cameras things are just moving around a little too much. In this one we have a pretty darn steady shot and it's a fairly steady shot but in this one that camera is just moving all around a little bit. So let's take and highlight that clip. We'll go up here into the video section of our settings and I'm gonna put that stabilization feature on. Now it defaults to an automatic style stabilization here when we uh, turn this on and it's starting to go through the process of analyzing this clip and re-rendering it or re-transcoding it I think they call it I'm not sure which terminology is right but now that clip appears to be done so let's just look at that it, it, it tends to take the camera wobble out a little bit sometimes and it it uh, just allows you to focus a little more now what it can do though it it can make the whole thing kinda look strange in the way the things on the screen are moving so let's Let's try it with that off again. In this case, I almost think that uh, the way the camera is moving makes more sense to my eye. So I think I'm going to leave that stabilization off for the time being. And. Uh, if we're going to leave it off, let's leave it off, both of them. Now, this shot here is is a little bit longer shot. And uh, it, could, it could use some cropping. The feature at the end is the butterfly flying off. He's kind of located in the middle of things here. We have a couple choices when it comes to cropping. We can uh, take and uh, turn the cropping tool on here and uh, let's just uh, turn the cropping tool on here. Where's the cropping tool? I know where it is. You have to have the timeline selected over the part of the video that you're working with. Then when you turn the, 
the cropping tool on you actually see it appear here I was off the timeline somewhere else but we have a couple of options here we can do a simple crop that really allows us to uh, uh, let me grab that little handlebar at the corner sometimes it's hard to catch so a simple crop like this would would really kind of zoom in a little bit and show us the action in a little more of a, a zoomed in mode here and I kind of like that it allows you to frame up the shot so that the creature you're looking at is in the middle a little bit and uh, it allows you just to see it I, I believe a little bit the more you crop though the more um, it can look like um, it's not a clear or sharp a picture so you have to be careful with your your cropping now let's take this and see if we can grab that and in this case here you can see where the the cropping really helps you frame your your uh, picture a little bit put it more in the middle till fly off time but knowing that we can kind of move it up there to get our fly off in a little better so we're we're uh, best of both worlds there there we go so let's take and uh, hit a done on that one and let's look at what we've got here for a 30 second video so far now the transitions from clip to clip are abrupt and almost to the point of being annoying to me and one of the things we can do is a simple dissolve transition where they kind of blend into each other and it just is not so abrupt and annoying looking I think so we can grab this cross dissolve here drop it in and I think it defaults to taking one second for the cross dissolve to work and let's look at what we've got here now there we go we kind of blend right into the next clip and there we have the next clip just makes that transition a little more palatable there and if we put a transition on the very end it just indicates to me the the end of the video it's a 30 second video it's a short video did the did it just freeze the picture is there more <laughs> is the question you have especially when you're watching on uh, line and you're watching videos sometimes if your internet's not the best it, it'll freeze up and you're like okay catch up catch up catch up so I can see the rest and you're always kind of stuck there but if we dissolve the black then people get the idea that okay the video ended so I think we're close. I think we have another 30 seconds of nature screencast in the can.